Hey there, today I want to show you how to easily save and load things in a JSON format. So we start with saving and loading files from the file system. For this we have the application.persistentdatapath. This is a file path where you can easily read and store files. So to read a file we use the file stream or the stream reader. For this we create a file stream and the stream reader and then read every line and append it to our JSON. And don't forget to close the file. Here we simply return the JSON. To save the file we can use the file stream and the stream writer. We log our destination so we can find our file later. Then we write the line and of course we close the stream writer and the file stream. Now we have to define what we want to save. For this we create a value object. This is just a simple C sharp class with two variables, but you can store as many variables as you want. So in our rocket player we first try to get the JSON from the file and then try to serialize it with JSON utility. This is a utility class from Unity Engine. It will just deserialize the JSON file and assign it to the class. So if we have an object, we can handle that we already know our player. If not, we will wait for the player input and create the save object on our own and then store the variables from the input. So if we know our player, we can deactivate the input and the save button and set the player name to the UI and the score to the UI. Then we can start our coroutine to count the score. And if we quit the application, we just serialize our value object with JSON utility and then hand it over to our save helper. So let's see how it works. If I enter a name and press save, the game begins and the score will count up. And if I quit the game, we will see our debug log. This will store the file in our file system. In the file we will see the player name and the score. So if I restart the game, the player name will appear and the score will continue where it was. So, I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more tutorials and I'm sure I see you in the next.